Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Good morning and praise the Lord. This is another wonderful Tuesday that the Lord has given to us. I began a series yesterday on God's dream for your life. And I said the same way a parent has a dream for his child. God also has a dream for you as a child of God. And yesterday we began by looking at the first key relationship. That is relationship with God. And we read Romans chapter 12 and verses number 1. And today we want to look at the second key relationship. That is the relationship with the world. The only thing you can do if you want to excel, if you want to live a good life in this world, is for you to separate from the world. In the same book of Romans chapter 12 and verses number 2, the Bible says, I'm reading from the New Living Translation, do not copy the behavior and customs of this world. But let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. We are being called upon not to conform any longer to the pattern of this world. But we are called to be transformed. To be transformed simply means you are chained from one shape to another shape, from glory to glory. By the renewing of our mind, we should not allow our mind to be boxed in one particular area. The Bible is very clear this morning, and the Bible is giving us a warning that we should not copy the behavior and custom of this world. This world has behaviors. This world has customs when it comes to talking, to dressing, to parties, to doing so many things. This world has behavior and customs. And as we talk about relationship with the world, as long as we are in this world, one thing that we need to do is to separate from the world. We should not copy what the world is doing. We should be doing something different. The Bible says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Your mind should not be like the way the world is thinking. The world is thinking this direction. Our young people are struggling on how they can do certain things because they are being boxed with how the world is thinking. But the Bible is saying you can think in a better way by allowing the Spirit of the Lord to transform your mind. I challenge you this morning with all humility in the name of Jesus that it is important for you to know that pleasing, good, and perfect will for you. I know sometimes people ask so many questions. How can I know God's will, that good, pleasing, and perfect will of God? The only answer I can give you in this morning is separate from the world. Don't be boxed with the world. Separate yourself from the world. And when you do that as a child of God, God is going to bless you in the name of the Lord. I pray for you, even as you struggle with so many things. The Bible said, don't copy, don't copy. Listen to me. The Bible is saying, my sister, my brother, don't copy the patterns and behavior of this world because they'll not take you anywhere. But allow your mind to be renewed. Allow your mind to be changed. Allow your mind to be Begin seeing what God is seeing. And that is the only way you'll know God's will concerning your life. That good, perfect, and pleasing will of God. Let me pray with you even as you go to work this morning in Jesus' name. Jehovah God, we thank you. We bless you again this morning for giving us an opportunity just to listen to you as we begin the day. I want to pray with my sister and brother. How I pray the Lord will not copy, will not copy the patterns and the behaviors of this world, but we will be transformed by renewing of our minds so that we can know your will that is good, perfect, and pleasing in the name of the Lord. Father, bless us and keep us strong. In Jesus' name I pray, and the people of God say, Amen. God bless you. God keep you. God 
take care of you even as you begin this day. From this altar, I declare blessing in your life in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidham Eldoret TV. Our Facebook page is Sidham Eldoret. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidham Eldoret. And our website is eldoret.sidham.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.